All right, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another build video for the LS swapped S10. Today we're gonna be making some uh, some relatively larger upgrades or changes, I guess, because we technically don't even have these parts on the truck yet, but we are getting very, very close to being able to actually drive the truck and we're just finishing up the last couple of things and we've actually finally got our hands, I can't even hold it, on this big boy right here, so. We finally have a radiator for the truck with an e-fan setup, and I actually got this thing uh, off of Amazon, believe it or not. Um, a couple of people have used this specific radiator with the e-fan setup, and it just needs a little bit of modification on the front rad support to kind of get everything to work. So that's the majority of what we're going to be doing today, is we're going to be pulling the entire front clip I wanna call it the clip or the front core support off of the truck because we're gonna to need to modify uh, a little bit of the section up here and on the back side. And then we're also gonna paint it to kind of clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit like less of a piece of shit. <laughs> there aren't a lot of videos or there really aren't videos at all showing specifically how to do this. So I'll try to break it down for you guys because I'm gonna be obviously learning how to do this for the first time on my own right now. So I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod. We're gonna start pulling stuff apart. And then I will kind of hopefully on along the way explain to you guys how to take everything apart. So and obviously this is the greatest time to have a parts tray. There's gonna be lots of little bolts for everything that you're gonna need to uh, keep track of. So the top four bolts on the grill are just uh, T15 Torx bits, at least for me. We have another one kind of like right in the center here. And down here in the corner to get the grill off. All right, not so lucky for me. It was a bit difficult to get the front rad support or whatever you want to call it off of my S10, more specifically S15. And it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So since no one has really done like a video showing you how to do it, I'm gonna kind of explain it and then I'll do, uh, I'll show you guys once we put it back on the truck because it was a lot of learning for me. So the biggest thing that you're gonna wanna do obviously is lube everything up that you're taking off. And there are, I think there are eight main bolts per side that have to come off to get the support off. That's not including obviously removing the radiator, your headlights and uh, any other goodies like the grounds and that kind of thing. So you have three 13 mils on the bottom that bolt the inner fender liner to the rad support from the bottom. So you have to take those out. You have a 17 from the top or a 17 from the bottom, 15 from the top. That's one of your chassis mounts. So that's uh, like a rubber mount that has to come out. So you got to take those off. You have two more 13s that come in from the front on both sides those are pretty easy to take off you have one on the side that connects your fender on the inside so for me this is the passenger side so this is very this would be where the battery is so the battery tray has to come out those are all 13 millimeters as well the battery tray comes out and then right under here and on the other side as well there's another 13 that bolts into the fender this way and then you have the one that bolts the fender into the top right here. And once all those are out, you should be good to remove it as long as you have the, as long as you have the hood release removed, your headlights removed, obviously there's grounds behind the headlights on both sides. And then the support should just come out pretty simply. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and refinish my entire front rad support now. So I'm going to like wire wheel all of the rust and all of the grime and stuff off. I'm gonna repaint it and then we're gonna put it back on the truck. Quite yet, put it back on the truck. We're gonna obviously get this guy on here to fit. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming and I'll show you guys the trimming for that. And I'll also link the radiator that I'm using for the swap in the description uh, because it is from Amazon and I'll, quite a few people have used it now um, and it does require modification. So this isn't a direct swap in. And if you're looking to keep things really simple, you're gonna have to buy a different radiator because this one isn't a direct bolt in, as I said, for the S10 or S15 chassis. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wire reeling this and start painting and go from there, but I will throw you guys on the tripod because I'm just not gonna talk during this whole process probably. OSHA approved footwear.
Okay, so I just wanted to do a little voice over here in regards to the uh, like the trimming and stuff that we have to do for the radiator. So um, for this section right here, this is the little hole that I've kind of cut out to be able to get access to the radiator fill cap on the top of it. And then right underneath that little hole as well, there's an entire, I want to call it like a tray or a section of the top of the radiator that we need to trim out. And we do trim out about an inch of it. Um, I didn't film a part of me trimming that so i actually followed another guy on youtube so i'll put a link um on the screen now and in the description so shout out him his name's the the gladdy daddy he did this very recently as well using the exact same radiator so he shows a little bit better of how much you need to trim off so if you need to refer to that just jump over there real quick and i think it's about 50 seconds in. he just shows what he trimmed off and then from there you're pretty much good to go here we are in terms of having the front rad support back in the truck it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get back in and as i kind of explained to you guys in terms of like what bolts and stuff have to come out it's basically everything in reverse the one thing that you have to remember to do when you put the front bar back in is the like the rad support bushings they go underneath the um the rad support and then you just put them back together basically the same way that they came out for me i haven't put all the bolts back in because i am going to be replacing the fender liners on both sides so we have the three bolts that go down in the bottom there that mount the the front rad support to the fender liners so i haven't put those ones back in um and then obviously my my driver's side fender has been is demolished so i'm not going to be bolting it back up to this i've only just kind of put the top bolts in the fender, the one in the front, um, and then the rad support main ones back in. And then I have to obviously rerun all of the wiring, but we do have everything kind of like mocked up at this point. So we don't have the rad fans hooked up quite yet. So I will go over that in a completely separate video because I'm gonna wire it into my fuse box that I've built for the truck at this point. Um, and then obviously we did cut a hole for us to be able to access the uh, the coolant filler I'm gonna put some like weather stripping around this just so it's not like super sharp and jagged So you don't cut your fingers when you're going in here the entire thing is in the truck now um, And we do have a big thing going on. So we got the belt on the truck now as well um, And then we do have our radiator hoses and stuff This one's actually gonna have to be shortened because it is currently kinking a little bit and then we're gonna have to still get a thermostat to hook up the lower one and then we're gonna have to figure out a reservoir of some kind which i think we're probably gonna put over on that side of the engine and then remount our battery tray and everything which i'm also gonna paint to clean that up a little bit and then we're pretty much good to go i just have to order a yeah so we still need to run the clutch line which is this guy here um i don't really know a lot of anything about these fittings these are like some quick connect fittings and I know online you can get like an, an adapter to an AN line to fit the master cylinder which is hiding somewhere down there um, so if you guys know anything about adapting a quick fitting to a first gen s10 any information would be great I found some like Earl's fittings and stuff that are gonna require a bunch of adapters to do it and this line is already so much longer than it actually needs to be off the transmission which can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time so we still have to do that but we're so so close so yeah i hope those of you that are actually watching the uh the s10 build videos are really enjoying them uh because i'm having a fun time building them i haven't ever owned a vehicle that has been so cheap to build just because it's american um, all the parts have been really easy to get to. Most of them are available on Rock Auto, which is awesome. But yeah, that will do it for a little update build video for the S10 today. Stay tuned, obviously, for the next one when we are probably actually going to be able to get the truck to at least move forward and back. Because like I said, we just have a little bit of stuff to button up here and there, like the radiator doing the wiring and in a clutch line, essentially. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for watching today's video. Peace out. I will see you in the next video.